Hi guys, in this video we are simulating dual access solar tracking system in Tinkercad. So without wasting time on intro, let's get started. First of all, you have to open any browser. In this video, I am using Chrome. Then search for Tinkercad. Open this first website. Click on create. Then circuits. And this is our working environment and this is our components panel let's drag and drop our arduino Inno in the working environment then we need some servo motors in this case we need two because we have to control vertical and horizontal axis both then we need a breadboard for making the connections common now we need ldrs for this dual axis project we need four ldrs so let me just copy paste them so now let's assign the name to the LDR so we can easily understand their positions. And this will be our bottom left LDR. The second one will be top right LDR. Third one will be bottom right LDR. And then final LDR will be top left LDR. So now let us just quickly give the name to the servo motors also. This will be our horizontal servo and this will be our vertical servo. So now let us shift the servos to the upper side so we can easily wire them without compromising with the aesthetics. Now we also need the resistors corresponding to LDRs to adjust the sensitivity of each LDR properly. Now shift the LDRs corresponding to its resistors. Now connect the any one terminal of each LDRs corresponding to its resistor. Now connect the second terminal of each LDR to the positive rail of the breadboard. Now connect the ground pin of our horizontal servo to the negative rail of our breadboard and positive terminal or power to the positive rail of our breadboard. Now simply connect the signal pin of our servo to the D2 of our Arduino. Now connect the ground pin and the power pin of our vertical servo to the breadboard as we have done with our horizontal servo. And our signal pin to the D13 of our Arduino board. Now connect the A0 pin or analog pin to the bottom left LDR and A1 to the top left LDR which is here. Now connect the A2 pin to our top right LDR and finally A3 will be on bottom right LDR. Connect the ground pin of our Arduino to the negative rail of our breadboard and 5 volt to the positive rail so we can easily supply the power to our whole circuit. So now let me just give the color coding to the wires so we can easily understand the whole circuit and make it look good aesthetically. After coloring the wires and arranging the components in well manner, our circuit is looking good. Hit the like button for this circuit. So now let's move to the coding part. In this video, I am not using the block code format. I am using text format. So select the text. This C++ code will appear. Remove it. And then go to our Arduino panel. This is our Arduino code. I have given link in description. Just copy this code. Go to our Tinkercad panel, then paste it here and it's done. Now remove this panel and we are good to go on our simulation. As you can see our servos are rotating at a defined position because this we have declared in our code. Now if you want to simulate this circuit, just simply click on each LDR one by one and adjust the light intensity as per you and you will see that our servos are rotating as per changing in light intensity. And if you want to make this project in real, I've already given a video in the i button appearing right now. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.